certain drugs are toxic by nature. For example, anti-cancer drugs developed to kill diseased cells also harm healthy ones. To limit side effects, it would be a great step forward if the treating substances were only set free in the affected area of the body. So the goal of this project is to develop stimuli responsive vesicles from biocompatible materials and nanoparticles. Yes, and by combining our knowledge of material sciences, nanomaterials and biomedicine, we were able to design multifunctional nanoparticle vesicle hybrids that are capable of transporting drugs and releasing them on demand. The vesicles are composed of phospholipids and the inside offers room to encapsulate a drug. In idle mode, the capsule is virtually impermeable and requires a specific stimulus to release the cargo. In Professor Fink's group, researchers have fine-tuned a self-assembly process which merges liposomes and superparamagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles, or spions, into one functional unit. Spions alone are popular materials in nanotechnology, as they only become magnetic in the presence of an external magnetic field, in which they begin to heat up. In this setup, the nanoparticles are directly embedded within the liposome membrane. When exposed to a magnetic field, the generated heat renders the barrier permeable for the encapsulated drug, consequently releasing it into the surroundings. To visualize these nanocontainers, cryotransmission electron microscopy is used as a method of choice. This tool offers unique insights into the structural assembly of these hybrids at sub-zero temperatures, down to minus 196 degrees Celsius. In tomography mode, one can see that hundreds of densely packed nanoparticles are embedded within the membrane in a quantity and volume that have to date not been attained. In addition to these investigations, other release triggers are experienced on and evaluated, such as infrared lasers. In this setup, rod-shaped gold nanoparticles are attached to the vesicle surface and rapidly heat up when irradiated by the laser beam. We are now capable of tuning the assembly of these hybrids in detail and have shown that the principle works. We are currently conducting trial experiments with model drugs and cell cultures to further elaborate and optimize the overall effectiveness before moving to in vivo trials. In the future, we hope to provide reliable drug delivery systems to treat conditions such as cancer or inflammatory diseases.